All right. What we got today is the Orson bag that came, of course, Amazon. Now, I'm assuming this is the Orson bag because it's the only thing I ordered. There's actually fold up until in the, to fit in the mailbox, believe it or not. Wow. Definitely a lot smaller than what I thought. Okay. So this is it. Alright. So right off the bat. Hmm. You see it's a the backpack that's like a pouch. It reminds me of that rain jacket that it folds into a pouch then you yeah. I forgot what they call it. The Old Navy and Gap was like the first company that I've seen with it and then. Alright, so apparently this is waterproof. And I say apparently because that's what they claim. Waterproof, water resistant, whatever. Okay, so it's a little pouch. It's for Oryxum, if I'm saying that correctly. A little zipper here. Putting stuff. No, second pouch. And that's it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Alright, so this is a backpack. Um, let's move this out the way. So let's open this up. Let's see what we got. So you open it up. Man, right there. So right away, the, the original pouch you saw is the first pouch right here. And I gotta say, not too bad. Not too bad, okay. So, you open this up. Okay, so it has a, <laughs> it has like a little back pouch too, back here. It's funny. So, okay, all right, so, as I expected, the straps, it's padded, surprisingly. I honestly thought it was just going to be like, but it's very light pad. I mean, <laughs> you feel it, but it's, I wouldn't recommend putting anything heavy in here. This you could probably put a very small phone, maybe if you still have the iPods, or it stretches, it does stretch. I'm trying to give up my best review on, honestly. I'm trying to give a view that people's like, oh, what does that do? I try to think of questions I would ask, would ask, or what I think people would want to know. Honestly, I don't care for these. I have a bag that has these and I don't use it, but you'd be surprised some people who go hiking maybe. Okay, this is surprisingly, um, definitely enough for any size water bottle, unless it's one of those big, big ones. But yeah, you could definitely fit a, a, a water bottle in there. Just to give you an idea, I mean, this is a 16.9 ounce. And look, you can probably fit like two of them in here. So that's just to give you an idea, 16.9 ounce. Um, okay, so, and that's on both sides, it has that. So again, just the original pouch where it folds back into. So, it has that pouch, and you have another pouch in here, which was the other side of the original pouch that, before I opened it up. And then you have this little thing. So then that closes up. Then you have this. So you have this pouch up here. Um. I mean, that's basically it. Nothing crazy. Just something, you know. If you want to, I saw this on a review. And this is why I'm inspired at these videos. Because I see this, I saw this on a review for a cruise. I forgot, I will give the credit. I just forgot the name of the person. It's one of those, like, people vlog about traveling and stuff. And they recommended this bag. 
I was like, you know what, let me just Google it. Um, Amazon and see how much it costs. 20 bucks. They have a smaller one. This is um, 35 liters. Uh, I don't know how they measure it. I think it's called liters. Then they had a smaller one, which is 20, a 23 and a 33, or a 20 something and a 33. So this is the bigger one of the, and to be honest, it's supposed to be tear proof, supposed to be water resistant. Um, I kind of like it, you know. Now, it's it's nothing crazy. It's very you just poke it up. Um, it's nothing crazy, honestly. It's it's really nothing. But I think it would do the job. So basically, they recommend this for they were traveling on a cruise and they had like two of these. And um. And I guess a couple luggage. This was like their carry-on. <laughs> and um, they were just saying that they recommend this. Um, so, I said, you know what, for 20 bucks, it's not, <laughs> you can't go wrong, I guess. Um, definitely use it for a road trip, travel. So, yeah. All right, so let's fold it back up and then I'll end the vlog. Um, let me try to at this. So, I guess it's something like that. You just reverse it. This is exactly how those uh, rain pouches thing. Honestly, this is... <laughs> you know what? This is not bad because after you... If you use it for travel... Um... For twenty bucks, it's it's all right. Here's the deal. I wouldn't. I would actually use this for my daily. Um, you know, you pack stuff up, whatever. You know, road trips. But <clears throat> this is not bad because you, you you pack it up and then you put it away. So if you buy two of these, these could be like these uh, quick. You could fit a lot of stuff in there. I was, I was watching. I mean, I'm not gonna take out clothes and fit it in, but. It looked like it was spacious, like it would fit quite a few stuff. And if it's tear resistant, that means the material should be good. Waterproof, that means that's also good. So, all in all, I give it a thumbs up, in um, my opinion. Not bad for 20 bucks. <clears throat> um, yeah, so that's it. Hopefully, I, I addressed any questions by <laughs> opening up all those little stuff and, hey, what fits in there? And so, yeah. Uh, if you have any questions, I, I definitely don't mind um, answering them. I try my best, being that I'm not the popular YouTuber. Uh, when I do get questions, I actually do read them. And, um, and, a lot, and for the most part, I reply to them if I'm not busy. So if you have any questions, um, chances are I will reply. Just leave a question down in the comments. Um, I usually get a notification. I still have it on until it gets annoying. But I still get the notification, the emails, and uh, lets me know someone left a comment. And I'll go to the video. I'll reply. If you have any questions regarding this bag, um, I just got it, but um, I'll definitely put it to you soon. And if there's anything you want me to let you know about it, um, just just type it in the comments. Um, it says SBS here. I don't know if that means anything. I know someone say like YKK or something like that, or YYK. I don't know what that means, but I read somewhere that it actually means something. Um, but go figure, right? So let me see if I could answer. All right, so there's a foldable backpack, travel accessory. Um, Oryx and Bags, that's the name of the company. If you go to oryxandbags.com, and that's how you spell it, bags.com. Um, I think this said, you know, I'm trying to, don't call me on this, but I'm trying to remember the material. I think they say nylon, but yeah. Um, if you have any questions, just uh, leave it. Leave a comment, I'll answer it. Oh, thanks for watching. Take care. Give it a thumbs up. Share the video. Um, I do recommend it. If you're going on, on, a, on a cruise or a road trip, um, somewhere small, this will probably fit enough. Um, or like if you want one luggage and then this, that will probably do. Um, or if you're going on a light... A, a, a weekend trip or something this will probably do and what I like about it 
without even using it yet. Um, the padding, again, it's not like I'm gonna have my back all day, but it's the padding, there's a padding there, but it's very thin. Um, um, oh yeah, so right off the back, it's uh, small. So what I like about this, I could throw this in the closet, it won't take too much space. You can hang it up somewhere, on one of those hooks in the closet or something, and that's it. Or throw it in the garage or basement somewhere, or I don't know. And, or you could use it uh, for whatever, you know. I wouldn't say this is a, a, a bag for, for kids, for school, because I mean, I don't know what it is now. <laughs> they probably got technology with tablets and stuff. But back in my days, when I was in school, we had these heavy textbooks. Some of them were soft cover, but some of them were very hairy. And definitely will put strain on your back. Um, the padding is not that strong for that. <laughs> but um, if you're packing clothes, uh, accessories, uh, toothbrush you can put in the pockets. Uh, uh, that's, that's basically, I wouldn't recommend putting anything heavy because you don't want it to be, again, the padding is not, you don't want it to, and then this material is not one of those um, where backpacks have the back padding too. This is just, so if you have something sticking out, you don't want it sticking you or hitting you while you're walking. So that's all I can say just by visual appearance. Other than that, if you have any questions, leave a comment, hit the thumbs up. Thanks for watching.